Hello and welcome back to Keon's Lab. In this video, I am going to be setting up the Arduino MKR GSM 1400 board, which is a cellular enabled Arduino board using a SIM card from the Hologram company. I got this as part of a kit, the Arduino cellular kit, which includes the Arduino GSM 1400 itself an antenna and an Arduino SIM card. And it's the Arduino SIM card that's the problem. It doesn't work. This is what the board itself looks like. It uses micro USB. And this is where the Arduino SIM card is. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the antenna. The direction doesn't matter. Just push it in like that, and it can turn, you can pivot in any, in any direction you want. Now, I've set this SIM card up online, and the reason I picked this company or carrier or whatever they are in the first place is because when you're setting up the Arduino device to communicate with a cellular carrier, you need to set something called an APN, a username, password, and a PIN, which for almost every SIM card is four zeros. Now, whatever I did with the Arduino SIM card, even after activating it and waiting for three, four days and putting in the Arduino username and password, it would not work. But using my phone's SIM card, it did work. But because the SIM card wasn't in my phone anymore, I couldn't communicate to the Arduino using my phone. So I decided to get this because it's about eight cents a megabyte. And this is not sponsored by them, it's just apparently the solution to this problem. Something which we're going to find out whether it's true or not. And the MKR GSM board uses the, not the smallest size, but the size that's a little bit bigger than that. And if the smaller one ever does pop out, you can always put it back in and just push it on a flat surface. So now that the SIM card is ready to be inserted, I'm just going to slide out the Arduino SIM. Making sure to follow the graphic that's etched onto here for how to position the little notch on the SIM card. And now we're gonna head over to the computer. So I'm on the hologram dashboard here and you can get this after activating the SIM card. And there are several IoT SIM providers that you can go with. However, I decided to pick hologram and I'm gonna show you why. And I'm not sponsored or anything by them, it's just the first one really that came up and turned out to be a good one from what the marketing says. So we're going to figure out whether it's actually worth it or not. So you can see after I log in, it kind of looks like what a router homepage would look like for a Wi-Fi router. Except this is for a cellular, so like tunneling, data plan, it has a pretty good rate of 8 cents a megabyte. SMS is 19 cents, and then you can put a limit. Messaging. So before starting to use the MKR GSM board, you want to install the library and board itself. So to install the board itself, just click on the boards manager and type in SAMD and then the first one Arduino SAMD 32-bit ARM Cortex M0 Plus which is the processor on the MKR GSM board that is the library you want to install and in this case at the time of recording it is at version 1.8.13 and for the library itself you just want to go here and there's two libraries. One library is called MKRGSM. 
So just uh, click install, and then the other one would be Arduino Cloud. So Arduino IoT Cloud, that's the full name, and Arduino Cloud Thing. This will allow you to do your Arduino Cloud stuff. And while you do not need it to use the SIM card itself, if you're doing it just with the offline IDE here, you will need it to use Arduino Cloud, which I'm going to get into in just a second. But first, I just want to test out the SIM card and make sure the internet connection actually works because that's something that wasn't working with the Arduino SIM. So I'm going to go into File, Examples, MKR, GSM, and then let's see. Let's do GPRS ping. And this is the thing I was talking about. So the pin number for hologram is none. The APN is hologram. And all lowercase. And there is no login and no password. And this is the main reason I picked this provider because it's pretty straightforward. Now if we do upload and you're going to notice the stuff it shows looks a little bit different. Look at those pages and all that. Look at that. Now we're going to open up Serial Monitor. Now the reception here isn't too well, so it might not work. And wow, it actually, it actually works. Look at that. There's the connection. So it looks like the hologram sim is a success. So it looks like the Arduino sim was the problem because with our hologram SIM card in there now, internet is working perfectly. So now I'm just waiting for my computer to charge back up and we're going to try to connect Arduino IoT Cloud. Okay, so now that I am logged into the Arduino IoT Cloud website, simply by going to Arduino Cloud and clicking these dots and then going on IoT Cloud, I can now manage my devices. Now, an important step before actually being able to interface with this is to download something called the Arduino Create Agent. So you can see I already have it running. But to download it, you can just do Arduino Create Agent on Google. And then click on the first link, install Arduino Create Agent the link that goes to the Arduino website. Follow this link, which I'm going to leave in the description. And this will basically guide you to setting up the Arduino Create Agent on a Chromebook, Mac, or Windows computer. So I already have it installed and running, so I don't need to do this right now. And make sure to restart the computer after installing it because it doesn't really work properly if you try to run it directly afterwards. And I'm simply going to unplug and replug the Arduino. And then click on Add Device. And I don't know which one of these is going to work the best, so I'm just going to do Automatic. and it's just scanning for the board. And actually, oh, never mind, I found it. So configure, I'm gonna name it MK, oh, MKR. I 
and now it's just going to upload a sketch to interact with the Arduino IoT Cloud. And this is going to be via the USB connection, so if this does not work, it is 100% or 99% your USB cable. If it doesn't work for uploading a sketch, it's probably because it's a power delivery only cable and not a data transfer micro USB cable. Now it doesn't need to be an expensive cable, you can even get one from the dollar store. Just make sure that the packaging says that it's data transfer compatible. Anyways, once you are all set, you can just do done. And this is how far I got with the Arduino sim. And the problem I had with that one is it would keep giving offline status. So let's actually, let's see. I think then we do create thing. Yeah, so we do create thing and then we do configure network. Hologram, hologram, no pin, no username, no password, save, I'm going to do add variable, LED, now I already did this once, so I'm just going to name it like LED 2B, and then you do boolean, so this is just going to be to turn an LED on and off if it works and add variable. And following the official Arduino guide for setting up the Arduino IoT cloud, it actually says to add this. So serial print line and digital write the built-in LED. And that's right in the LED change function. So it's going to control C and control V and then upload. So this isn't working, so I'm just going to delete this, delete, add variable, LED, boolean, and all other values remain the same, so just click add variable. And I'm actually going to start by deleting any references to LED 2B from my previous failed attempt. And just going over the guide to make sure I didn't miss anything. And of course to copy and paste this little piece of code for the LED change function. And then I'm just going to paste that right into here. So I'm going to do verify. And upload. So we are uploading, it's taking a bit, and upload is successful. So let's open the serial monitor, oh my god it's actually working. Um, okay so let's go to dashboard, uh, how did we, let's go to the guide. How did we switch it on and off? Okay, we need to make a... So we go on the Dashboards tab, Build Dashboard. We're going to name it Sim. And then it says to click on the pencil thing. It's already selected. You can go between those two. Add Things untitled create widget and okay let's see if this oh my god it actually worked now this is crazy watch what happens when i flip the switch see the led come on look at that Now the big question is what happens when I unplug it from the computer and plug it into a USB port. 
because technically this should be now communicating over cellular and not over the USB port anymore. Now I don't have a backup power bank on me right now, but I do have one of these power bank modules on hand for my electronics kit. This is one of my really old ones. So I'm just gonna turn the power supply to four volts, which is the voltage of a fully charged lithium ion battery between four and 4.15 volts generally. I do have a bunch of cheaper ones, but since it is a bit of an expensive board, I'm going to stick with this one because I trust the circuitry on it to protect against over voltage and over current. So because the Arduino doesn't really pull that much current in its standby mode, we're going to have to do this quick. So it's powered on. Let's keep an eye on that LED and flipping the LED switch. Or maybe we should wait a little bit for it to connect to the cellular network. So the LED is not turning on. Let's go back to the guide. So it looks like we're not connected yet. Oh, it works. It's connected. Look at that. On, off, on, off. And I never thought this would work, but it's actually working. On, off, on, off. There's a little bit of a lag, off, on, and then off. This is so cool because this is not connected to the computer. This is completely disconnected from the computer and I'm controlling it. This is insane. On, off. So much can be possible with this. Like this Arduino IoT cloud is crazy. Like, look at that. Steppers, lighters, messenger, dim delight. Like, the types of stuff you're going to be seeing on my channel using this is going to be crazy. Because I just learned about all of this. <laughs> and you know I'm going to go crazy with it. Scheduler, dim delight. That gives me an idea. Time picker. Look at that. chart oh my god advanced chart so that is it for part one of my mkr gsm video using the hologram sim card and i am going to be working on a part two basically right now and i'm going to try to release the part two pretty close to part one but in part two we're basically going to connect a relay module to the mkr gsm as well as maybe try out an infrared temperature sensor. So if you liked the video and would like to see more stuff like this, please like and subscribe because my channel really does need it right now to be boosted in the analytics to get it seen by more people.